Hello everybody and I'm back with another video and today I thought I'd go over the video player that's in Kodi, some of the features and some of the settings that you can play with. But first I thought I'd start out with looking at the context menu. When you right click on your mouse or you hit the menu button once you've selected a video. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into my subscriptions. And when in here, I have a couple choices. Without touching anything on my remote, I can go up and down, pick something to watch. So for instance, let's check out this. So here it is, it's running away. But I'm bored of that and I wanna watch something else. Well, I can go back out here and look for something else. Or I could say to myself, I think what I want to do is start from the beginning of my new subscriptions and go forward. So to do that, on your remote or with your mouse, highlight where you want to start from and then click menu or right click on your mouse and go play from here. What Cody will now do is it will play the first video and that's what's happening right now and we also gain a couple new player controls we gain something to move forward we gain something to move backwards if I don't want to watch this if I click this forward button the next video should load and there we go now say for instance we're halfway through this video and we're like, this is not a bad video, but I don't think I want to watch all of it right now. We can go to this little bookmark. And if we click the bookmark, we can create a bookmark. There it is. We can get out of there by just clicking on it. And I'm gonna to go to the next video. So I'm on the next video, but what's this video about? What is this? So I'm gonna click the information button and see what the YouTube description is of the video. So I'm gonna watch this video. So we've watched the video, we're now at the end. Get rid of this. And just let it play. And of course, we're getting our next YouTube video to load. But you know what? I think I wanna go back to the second video. So let's go back to the second video. And it's pretty simple. Clicking that once will bring you back to the video you just started. Clicking twice will bring you back to the video you just watched. Clicking twice will bring you back to the video you are watching. I'm going to go to the bookmark and start from here. That's the play from here context um, menu. We've got a couple more in here. So if we go back to here and we click on this, what if we have a line of videos that are basically just blogs or vlogs in this case and it's basically somebody talking at a camera well if you're working around the house or you're at work you don't really need to see them so we can actually just go to play audio only and from there we just get the thumbnail of the video we get repeat we get random and we got lyrics. It's essentially playing it as a music file. What else can we do from here? Well, let's right click this again and let's see if we can play with subtitles. Depending on the YouTube creator, you will get this to play with some subtitles. I'll set up my language, English, and we'll see if it loads any subtitles. If it doesn't, I'm not too concerned. Maybe not, but I did get subtitles. So you can do that as well within there. Something else you can do is you can mark it as watched. So maybe there's a video that you watched half of, but you're like, I uh, probably won't watch the rest of it. You can just click the mark as watched and it will put the little check mark. 
Now what we're going to do is we are actually going to start a video and I have something for that. So this is just a collection of royalty free music. Uh, I'm going to just uh, right click here, play from here, and let's have a look at the subtitle screen. So within here you can have subtitles enabled or disabled. This is your subtitle offset. So say you've downloaded a subtitle or you're finding a subtitle is showing up a little bit before or after the mouth's move. Well, using a mouse wheel or your controller, you can speed up or delay when the subtitles appear. So that's fairly obvious. This is browse for subtitle. So if you have a movie with a subtitle or you have a directory with subtitles, you can go into here, go to that directory and pull the subtitle up for the movie or television show you're watching. Here is where you will download subtitles from a subtitle service. Uh, in the right top, there will be a video explaining how to use subtitle services and Kodi. And you can set this as a default for all your media. The big one though is down in these gears here. And it is a duplication of some of the other items. This looks just like the subtitles menu. I find this one though to be the most important. So sometimes when you install Kodi, you find your volume is very low or there is none. I have installed Kodi and had this right at the bottom. I'm like, why isn't it working? Well, you can press the plus and minus key on your keyboard and that will bring the volume up or the volume down. You can also manually crank it up. And I usually have mine set to 100%. And if you still are having problems with volume being too low on your system, you can also move this up or down but be careful using this because this is extra amplification and if you crank it up too much you will get distortion i don't usually play with this audio offset just like subtitle offset if you're watching a show and i have had the chance of watching programs where the mouth and the audio just it wasn't right and it bugged the heck out of me so by using this you can delay the audio track by 0.25 seconds and more or you can speed up the audio track by 0.25 seconds or more the next one here is pass through Essentially, if you have a home media center that does Dolby DTS, HDR sound, all the new fancy stuff that's out now, you can pass through that audio undecoded. So while Cody is playing the video, it will not be passing anything that is understood by your TV. It will pass through the DTS, it'll pass through the HDR audio, to a media receiver that will do the decoding on its own. So if you do have that and you got your HDMI into your media center and you have all the fancy sound settings, you would want to allow audio pass through. And that's as long as the media supports it. So that's what you've got under audio settings. We've been through subtitle settings. Video settings I don't usually play with. Um, right now, this is telling me what the stream is. It's 640 by 360, so it's not a great stream, but it's really just audio music. Uh, the interlace method, video scaling. So within here, you have video mode, which gives you the ability to do a zoom. I've used this if I'm watching something like is 16 by 9, but for some reason, it's in the middle of the screen like this would be. So this is where you can do your, your zoom and custom. I don't really 
play with any of the the interlace or the video scaling I don't understand it I'll be right honest essentially the only time I really do play with this is if I've got a video that needs some zoom just because of the way that it's playing within Cody close that once it loads the next video here color management another one that I don't play with I don't understand a lot of this stuff I did try playing with it once with my TV and it crashed out Cody probably trying to send a different color management scheme to my TV that TV didn't understand I don't know so if you are a whiz with televisions or video monitors and you know this stuff well it's there for you to play with the next one is toggle audio stream so if you have a TV show or video whether it's a, could be a movie and it has dual audio then you can use this to change the streams between the two audio files within the video if you have any questions I'll try to answer them below I don't know everything there is to know about video codecs and something like that but I hope this video was of some help to you and if you liked it give it a like subscribe if you haven't uh, click the notification bell and everybody have a great night